Hey Pisces, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. How's your person thinking and feeling about you at this time? Single Pisces, how is your person thinking and feeling about you at this time? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, single Pisces, how is this person thinking and feeling about you? We we'll have the Sun card, Leo's energy is here. We we'll have the Queen of Wands, okay? And we have the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Ooh. That song, uh, I just want to rock you all night long. <laughs> so someone could be thinking of rocking you, okay? If you know what I mean, okay? I feel like someone is super passionate about you with this fire sign energy all across the board. You could be dealing with the fire sign. You could have that energy around you right now, okay? But someone is thinking very passionately about you. Look at that ace of wands, big dick energy at the bottom of the deck. Whoo, yeah. Some of you, are you, okay. What are you doing? What are you, <laughs> what are you doing this weekend? What are you up to? Some of y'all, one night stand energy. What's the sun card? Show me for Pisces. The moon, ooh, very dark, mysterious, uh-huh, 10 of cups, ooh, <laughs> the star. <laughs> There's a lot of mysterious energy around this person. Could be an Aquarius, a Leo, like I already said, or a Cancer for some of you. What is that? Show me this, uh, the moon with this 10 of cups. What is that? Queen of Swords, okay. Knight of Swords. Ooh. The Death card. Scorps energy is here with strong air sign energy coming through. Okay, for some of you, let me say it like this. I was trying to ignore that energy, <laughs> but it's coming through. For some of you Pisces, single Pisces, someone could be married and that could be a secret here with the moon and the 10 of cups. Someone could already be married in a relationship, but they could be seeing you as their wish. It's like meeting you makes them feel alive. Meeting you makes them feel happy. They could want to <clears throat> rush into a connection with you. For some of you, same-sex connection, because we do have two queens here. For some of you, okay, male or female, could be same-sex. But for others of you, I'm feeling like someone wants to rush in and they may be thinking about putting an ending to what they are already stuck in, but someone is definitely stuck on you. <clears throat> okay, what? Ooh. What's that star card? Show me. Judgment. Okay. Uh-huh. Four of pentacles. Wanting to try it again with you. I feel like holding on to the thought of being with you. Eight of cups. King of cups. Yeah. This person may have, have had to walk away from the situation or they've been distant or live at a distance. Okay. Okay. The Ten of Cups could show me that as well. Like this person is so on fire for you. So let me say that if the third party is not a person, the third party could be distant. Okay. So the Ten of Cups could show me that this person lives at a distance from you and longing to be with you. Okay. They could have met you while they were on some type of trip or vacation. They met you and they never forgot you. Yeah. Ooh. What is this Queen of Wands energy? Five of Pentacles. Someone could just be hiding their kids from you. So make sure that you ask the right questions. Like you may ask, like, do you have kids? And they may say no, and that's a lie. So you may have to ask a little more, like dig a little deeper with this person. That could be the moon and the Ten of Cups, like hiding a family from you. Queen of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. Okay, Page of Swords. Yeah, someone is definitely missing you, missing this. Ace of Pentacles, wanting to offer you more. Strength card, Leo's energy out. 
the devil energy. Capricorn is here. Oh, this person is having a hard time. Yeah. They could be having a difficult time financially, <clears throat> even. Yeah, right now, if this person is dealing with another family issue, they could be having issues with child support, giving to another person. All their money is going to another situation. For many of you, I'm feeling like this person could be married, but they are just on fire for you. And they're needing to go through some type of divorce here. What's the Knight of Wands? Two of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacle energy. Some of you dealing with an Earth sign. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, someone may be trying to save up to get out of something because they feel like panicked here. They feel a bit impatient. Not wanting you to get away. Whoa, hangman in reverse. Yeah, I feel like someone is trying to come unstuck out of something that, that they've been in for a while. How do, they, how do they feel about Pisces at this time? King of Wands. Yeah, King and Queen of Wands. Lots of passionate energy here, but they feel sad here. And the Chariot. It could be a Cancerian you're dealing with. Yeah, see, they want to do the right thing by you. I feel like this person could be trying to devise a plan to get, like I said, get unstuck or to tell you the truth about what's been going on. They don't want to lose you. I feel like uh, they, they feel if they come to you with the truth or some of you may already know this about this person. But if they come to you with the truth, they may feel like you don't, you wouldn't want to wait on them or you wouldn't want to deal with them at all. Yeah. How does Pisces feel about this person? Oh yeah. Four of wands reversed. Like I said, some of you may know this person has a family or they're married. They're in something that they're not happy in. There's no stability with the four of wands in reverse. You may already know it. How is Pisces feeling about this person or the situation? You can also know that this person has a lot of family issues or problems. You may know this and you may not like that, okay? Even though there's a strong attraction, could be a Scorpio. Yeah, you may know that something is blowing up with this person with the tower, okay? How's Pisces feeling about this person? Five of Wands. Ooh, this could be a fight here. Ugh. You may be telling this person, look, you need to let go of that other situation if you want to come and be with me or else you're moving on. Six of wands. Yeah, you may be giving this person an ultimatum. Anything else Pisces need to know? The justice card could be a Libra that you're dealing with. Ten of pentacles and the three of wands. Some of you, you could be waiting for a while for this person to get a divorce or to get some type of money or settlement. This person may be having to wait on that. Okay, three of wands is going to take longer than you thought. Yeah, for the two of you to reconcile or be together, three of cups. There's a lot of passion here. Lots of passion. Ace of wands, knight of cups. But there's also stress and worry possibly surrounding a child. Nine of swords with the page of pentacles. Okay, children could be involved in this connection, which may not be... Um, it may not be as easy for this person to just jump out of their situation because there's kids involved. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, okay. Let's come over here. What is this person wanting to say? What is this person wanting to say to Pisces at this time? What are they wanting to say? Allow me to love you. Yeah, because they feel like you're going to move on if you find out everything. Some of you, like I said, have already found out and it caused an argument. You just give me like no other. You may have shown compassion toward this person for a while. And now you're like, I really need you to get out of that other situation if you want us to be together. Look, other people don't understand our love. Something very taboo about this situation. I got the same energy for Libra for their weekly reading. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Okay. Yeah. What energies are coming through for Pisces and this person? Who is this person? Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Who is this person that Pisces is dealing with? What energies are coming through? 
It could be their sign or something that's in their birth chart. It could be a Scorpio. What's coming through for who Pisces is dealing with? What's coming through? Mars. It could be an Aries. Lots of fire sign energy. It could be a Cancer for some of you. And let's get one more. Whoa. We have Leo. Yeah, all three fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and now Gemini. Okay? And let's get some advice here. What's the advice for Pisces? Advice for Pisces, please. Playfulness. Yeah. I feel like this is what y'all want and this is what y'all need. There needs to be like more of a lighthearted energy between the two. It says recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Like this has possibly been a very heavy situation and, you know, has weighed the both of you down. And I feel like in order for the two of you to come together, there needs to be more lo love and laughter and playfulness between the two of you. Um, or else I feel like the two of you are going to lose that, uh, that fire energy that you have. You may lose that and move on. Okay. Oh, it's a tough situation. I see it. I feel it as well. It's a really tough situation for the two of you. Um, but someone is going to have to release something that they're still stuck in. Alrighty, Pisces, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.